call the meeting to order. This is the um, November 1st meeting prior to the general election tomorrow. Um, call the roll, please. Mrs. Barger. Here. Mr. Bart. Bar 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 I'm here. <laughs> Mr. Wasco. Here. Mr. Beaker Susan. Um, and we, let's take a moment of silence for our nation and the election tomorrow. That runs smoothly. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, do we have a motion to approve the minutes of the October 5th regular meeting? There are copies there for you. So move. Second. Do we have a second? Take the vote, please. Mr. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Mr. Wasco? Yes. Did you, did you second that, Mr. Arndt? Yes, yes I did. Yes, you did. Um, I also, you also have the bills in front of you, too. Mm -hmm. It's not on the agenda, but the bills are. Oh, there you are. Oh, are they? Yes. Yeah, they're down here. Remember your part? Oh. Do we want to move to the director's report to go through the moral legal obligations? Okay, but those aren't the, the yeah. scientific, those are the, of the board. These are moral obligations. We must approve the bills of the board, which you have in front of you. Yeah, right here. Right here. Oh, okay. I'm I sorry. See those. Yeah. <laughs> those are the daily bills for the last two months. Okay. to approve the bills for the period, the current period. And yes, September and October. And I'll second. Call roll. Mrs. Barber? Yes. Mr. Arnd? Yes. Mr. Wasco? Yes. Thank you, Joyce. Oh, yeah. I'll see those. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't have to put them in. We got all sorts yeah. of things on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, and for uh, I came down for the uh, early voting, and it seemed to have run very smoothly. We had a steady flow. Some days were more than others, but what did it you think, Joyce? It worked very go? well. The new system is very easy for all voters. It takes like five minutes, mm -hmm. and it's really, it's really an easy, easy system for all of us. I wish we could have afforded to buy that at the polls, but we couldn't. <laughs> so, um, but um, it, it is so fast. Everybody raves about it who hasn't voted early before. Very happy with it. Yeah, it was very simple. And we're all prepared for the election. It's pretty running smoothly. I don't think it's going to be a very big turnout, but compared, usually we have over 10,000 absentees. I think we're at like 9,000 and some. So it's a little lower than it usually is. What's your percentage? I, I hope we hit 30. I Early hope we 30. hit 30. Yeah, I hope we hit 30, but I, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll hit 35. <laughs> I hope. We'll see. We'll see. So, do you want me to go on some more? Sure, yes, okay. please. Uh, there's a moral obligation to Youngstown Letter Shop for the graphic layout and printing of the voting places. This is because um, we had some changes at the last minute and we had to print them um, and we, we didn't have time because we were running short of the 30 days to get them out and get them printed. So, uh, we have to pay a moral because, you know, downtown, well, unless you have the invoice ahead of time, you have to do a moral on it. So, that's for $470 to Youngstown Letter Shop. You want to just do them all together? Yes, and then there's a uh, moral uh, legal obligation uh, for invoices for ESNS and D, uh, for the DS200 paper rolls. Um, I actually bought a little bit more so we can get through the primary of next year. Also, um, I next year is the the printout will be very very long because of the governor's election and the other elections. So it's going to be pretty long. So um, we. Uh, in anticipation of that, I um, ordered some extras for this election, um, so we're prepared for next year a little bit. Yeah, I think you talked about that. Last yes, time. we did. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's just a good thing to you know do. So that's for one of the invoice for the CD uh, two hundred one two three five is one thousand sixty six ninety, and for the additional is nine twenty sixty four. 
for the paper rolls. Two layers of that. Oh, okay. It shows the, it shows the token. That's that one. Then the next one is a moral obligation uh, for ballot stock. I think I spoke to you at the last board meeting about this also. Uh, I want to buy enough, you know, we're, I'm getting, finally getting the room finished for the uh, printing. The printer came in for us to print our own ballots. It's going to cost about 10 cents a ballot on both sides. Um, I ordered extra stock so we can begin the process early next year. Chris can just send them to our machine. Uh, we, we're going to have a whole press conference in, uh, about the, the room and how it's going to operate and that we will not have to go to a vendor anymore to print our ballots. We will actually do them in-house. In -house. And which will be a good thing because in small elections like this, we could, we print, a, we could print less ballots, you know, because we, we anticipate the turnout, and we won't have the overstock, which we have to store and keep for, you know, two years and, you know, find storage for them. Um, so... Because um, we could do on-demand, we don't need the overstock. Well, yes, if we're running low at a precinct, we can actually, they print, I think, what is it, 30, 30 a minute, Tom, 30 ballots a minute? Yeah. They print 30 ballots a minute. So if we're running low and we have to get 100 ballots out there, you know, no, no tr trouble at all. And, uh, and we've got a shrink wrapper, so we're going to shrink wrapper on. And we're going to pack them in ballot stocks at 500. Now they pack them in 100. Some people open the wrong ballot. You have 200 packs instead of 100 packs. And this way, if we pack them in 500, they have to take the one off the top. Wow. You know, and um, that, that's where we stand with that. Um, so that's for $500 for the additional ballot stock. Okay. And then this is a moral obligation to uh, Kelly Agro uh, for um, her, she, for Heritage Manor. She actually sold it last year and um, someone didn't send her the contract, but we actually used it because it was a, 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 uh, a special election out there in Seabring. So we owe her the rent for the, the space. Uh, that we used last year, Harry Jokes. It's now almost home. Event center. I'd like to make a motion to pay the four moral and legal obligations as described by Joyce. <coughs> we have a second. No second. Any discussion? Mrs. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Wasco? Yes. Um, before you, you have the uh, policy on election petitions. Um, on the back page, I did add, um, we had looked at it before, but I did add the local option petition rules uh, covered by the Secretary of State. So we do not get into a situation we got into with Cantil, the last, um, the last uh, primary, um, whether they could be on the ballot or not. It, it lays out for us what the board has to do, how we have to send to the uh, liquor option control board, and what we have to do um, with their reply to us about the, uh, the issue. So um, we just need a motion to approve the new, the new language about the liquor option petition. Okay, and this is used to? This is going to go to all employees who take in petitions. Okay. Or I, I'm going to give it to all employees because they should all know the rules about petitions. Okay. And they should know we basically cannot give people advice about petitions. If they file a petition, they just file it. We cannot um, say, well, you, this isn't right or that's not right. I think that puts us in a jackpot, mm -hmm. you know, and it's put us in a jackpot a few times. So we're I, not permitted by law to By do. law, we're not permitted to do it. So I think that we just need to make it clear, you know, a lot, and a lot of us feel this way at the board, that we're here to help the people. Yeah. We're not here to discourage anybody. But Secretary of State has made it clear that we can't do that. And, and it's always been our policy mm -hmm. to help people, you know, help people, but there's some situations we just can't, right. and um, I, I just want to—I just want the employees to be aware that there is a policy, and, and this is how we have to conduct it. So this is for employee use. This is for employee use. Okay. Yes. Yes. So choice. And, uh, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to give it to the people who file petitions, you know, just so they know what our rules are. Right. You know, even though we give them the candidate handbook, they sometimes don't read that. They might look at this a little, you know, stronger, and you know. We had quite a few of those issues this time. Yes, we did, and it, it just uh, it just puts us in a jackpot that we don't need to be in, and then we have to go to the prosecutor and you know, everything else. So it's just better not to do that. So are we approving this in its entirety, or just the... No, we're, we're going to approve it in its entirety, because we looked at it last time, and then when we had that issue, remember we said we should maybe update right. you know, before, okay. we, before we approve it. So this, this document is called Policy on Election Petitions? Right. Okay. 
So I make a motion to approve the policy on election petitions manual to be distributed to the staff and in any public candidates. Uh, yeah, it might not be a bad idea to give it to the candidates. And I'll second. Any call discussion? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, call mm -hmm. the roll. Mrs. Barger. Yes. Mr. Arm. Yes. Mr. Wasco. Yes. And also, I uh, met with the prosecutor, and I uh, was Sharon Hackett, and I was telling she had advised me before when we had that issue with uh, them paying for our travel um, and them wanting us to do some policy that, you know, set out. She said, Joyce, make a travel policy. Make your own travel policy. You're a board. You can do it. Um, and so she laid out this travel policy for me, uh, which uh, covers us at the 57.5 cents per mile, covers us with the $57, which we always had before, for, you know, um, and also pays our room and board wherever we stay. So um, it's just important for us to have this because we never know when the Secretary of State is going to call us to a meeting or when we're going to have to go someplace. And it also, um, it's, it, as a board, you can make your own decisions about travel policy. In the first of the year, we can send, actually now I can send this down to the auditor and down to the commissioners saying this is our travel policy. And, you know, uh, every year we approve the travel policy, but this is actually our policy. This will actually be our policy. Okay. So um, we just need to uh, approve that. I make a motion to approve the Monon County Board of Elections travel policy effective November 1st, 2021. Second. I second. <laughs> Any discussion? Mrs. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arn? Yes. Mr. Whip, Moscow. Yes. And the other document I have in front of you is my resignation as of November 30th. This was sadness that I leave the Board of Elections, but it's twofold. I can spend more time with my family, um, and I've been here 35 years. Um, I think it's time for, you know, someone to come in maybe who has new ideas. Um, I hate to leave the Board because I love the Board of Elections. I love my staff. I love my Tommy. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, I, Sometimes. Most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it will be effective November 30th. Do we need to receive this? Yes, you need to receive your file. Okay, make a motion to receive and place on file. I'll second. Um, Mrs. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Wasco? Yes. Okay, that's it for me. Well, I did watch. Um, the last November meeting, and you had mentioned that you were going to retire, and you also mentioned it until you saw it in writing. You weren't going to leave. Yeah. <laughs> now you see it in writing. That's, that's, why, why, that's, in writing. that's why I received and placed it on file. <laughs> okay. Any unfinished business? I think we have a resolution board. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tom, did you go through these with yeah. me? Why don't you do those things? I, I didn't go through all the characters, I was doing supplies. <laughs> Don't have many tonight, but... Um, so we will be having a resolution board tomorrow, you We think? probably will. Most well, likely, but... At 7 o'clock. Yeah, I'll be on the about 7. I think this one's straightforward. Checks on 2D, Joyce. Um, I think the question we have might be for Mayor and Member Board of Education. Yeah, have to look at it. It's hard to explain. Okay. <laughs> well, so based on, have you done one of these resolutions? No, I okay. haven't. But based on, I would say that that's for, that's correct. Or no? I don't know. Okay. Be, because all, well, it's an overvote for president council. Well, this is. Yeah. And this is an overvote here. This is an overvote here. Um, but based on how it's done, I would probably say that this would be a vote for Richard Vincent Hill. But, but it would be an overvote for President Council and, and for the Board of uh, uh, Education. You're looking strange. I'm just looking at how you're doing it, that's all. All right, because I think you have to take a vote on each one, right? Yeah, yeah. we do. Well, we usually do this. They're free to elect it yeah. four, four circles. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, 
they get, it gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody. Yeah. So are we yeah. agreeing on? Do you agree on that, Mr. Hill? Yeah. Okay. So do we have to <clears throat> put the overvote in, or do we have to just do the approval of the mayor's? Just the mayor's race. Just the mayor's race. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's a motion? Yes. Motion to approve that ballot to be a vote for white. No, he'll, I mean, he'll please. He'll. Did you second? Oh. Second. Any discussion? Ms. Barter? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Washko? Yes. Okay. Next one is, I should be pretty simple, more than 30, it's a form of local school district. There's just an inadvertent mark under John Landers. We almost did bring that one to you, but. That little dot there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would say that's. I, I agree with the inadvertent mark. Yeah. So it's no vote. Well, no. Well, they I get mean, to pick three, so they have. Pick three. It's not an overvote. So would it? Would it's not an overvote. Just not do an over. It's not an overvote on that. Correct. Okay. But no, it's not. Motion. It's not an overvote. I'll second. Mr. Barker. Yes. Mr. Uh, Arndt. Yes. Mr. Washburn. Yes. Uh, Poland Village 3, Joyce, for Township Trustee, uh, we're looking at a, a mark for John Wallace. No vote for Wallet? No vote for Wallet. I'll second. Mr. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Washko? Yes. Uh, Austin Town 29, Joyce. It's the uh, tax levy for Austin Town Township. Well, this is consistent with these. Yes. So they must have gone here and then decided, said no. If we're, the years that we've been doing this, mm -hmm. and we tried to see, do we understand what the intent of the voter was? Mm -hmm. I mean, I agree with you, I think, that because okay. the, the marks have been consistent, mm -hmm. and they must have marked it here and said, nope, I don't want that, and marked it there. So I think it's a vote against. I think if it was all scribbling right here, then you wouldn't know what the intent was. Right. I think the intent, that they're showing the intent by just eliminating the letter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you agree with the against? So motion, uh, this one against the levy. Yes, I'll yes. Mr. Uh, yes. Mr. Yes. Uh, Struthers 2C, it's the proposed resolution for the city of Struthers. Yes or no votes. It would be a vote yes for the um, city of Struthers. Yeah, resolution. Okay. You think? Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Motion on that effect. I'll second. Call the roll, Mrs. Barker? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Wasco? Yes. The next one, Yaxon 7C, uh, member of the Board of Education. Uh, three to elect. It looks like they vote for and try to white one out or erase this, but it's hard to tell. Oh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. This white their own white out. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's this was done at home. Yeah, that's a uh, fatal flaw. White has a fatal flaw on this. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes when she's white out on ballots. That is a ballot. <laughs> but when we're judging the intent of the voter. Well, that's up to you. You're the board. Well, does it make... I guess a voter went and other one block was going out. No. I have to look at the instruction tape because tape is The dotting is consistent. Yes. Mm hmm Because it's consistent. With everything. They're all on the lines and then There's nowhere here that says you can't use white out, right? Not on the ballot. Not on the ballot. But it says if you want to make if you make a mistake or want to change your vote, return the ballot to the election officer official and get a new ballot. But this was a instruction. Well, I think the intent is to. I think the intent was there. Yeah. I think I'd make a motion to say that this bell is for those three. Do you agree? So there's, there's more of an effort made whether you should use white out or not. There's more of an effort made than an X or a right, circle yeah. or something else. So I would say that those three are. Barbara? Yes. Next on 5A, Member Board of Education, those are three, there's four votes and one is crossed out. School district, uh, <coughs> in a work mark on Jack Nick there, I believe. Oh, yeah. The machine kick that out. Oh, the machine kicks those out. It's just hardly anything. I know. And the instructions in is that you need to present those to you when there's a work mark. I would say that's enough. That's just mm -hmm. a, yeah. That's. Started there, but she's pretty. Whoever this is, is pretty consistent. consistent with filling in the circle. So. So that's a vote for Donaldson, Sims, and Turnage. Correct. I agree. I'll second. <laughs> Let's take the yes. Mr. Kerr. Yes. Mr. Wasco. Yes. Courtsville right. two. Uh, Township trustees. Inverted work on the Robert Lister. Township 7, uh, member of the Board of Education. There's a mark for Sean Wardle. I'm not sure if there's a mark for Sean Wardle. Well, it's not consistent with. I can't tell the voter intent on that. I can't either.
Yeah, but it's not consistent with how they filled in all the other circles there. You would have thought they would have gone back and give it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I would call that an overload. It's not an overload. Because yeah, it would only be three. Only be three. Oh, that's right. Okay. okay. So the issue is the Sean Ward will get a vote or not. I don't think he gets a vote. Do you? <clears throat> I don't think so, but no. no. Okay. We make a motion that Sean Ward does not get the vote for the mark. Second. You roll. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Mrs. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Washington? Yes. Right. Boardman Township 4, uh, Township Trustee. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> so. What are we doing here? Here. Two. I would say this one and this one. These are consistent. Those are both consistent. You got little X's over here. X's there. What does that mean? Well, they did fill it in. But then they put, that could be initials. I don't know what that means. Yeah. But you could vote for two. Yeah. I don't know what the intent is. <laughs> Maybe they thought they could only vote for one. Because here they voted for two and not three. Mm -hmm. But here they voted for all three. Mm -hmm. So I don't have any idea <laughs> what that means. I don't either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crystal ball here. Yeah. So what we're saying is, Mr. Calvin, we get a vote, or that one because we get scribble here too. a motion that Brad Calhoun gets to vote or do we include Tabitha Fitzpatrick? You know, they could have meant, I don't want this, but I want this, and there's my initial. Or this could just be a scratch off and say, I want them. I, I don't know if there's, I don't know if we have enough to go by on this one. I don't know what the intent was. I don't know what the intent was either. You want to try it, Joyce? See if you could, <laughs> well, see what you think? Well, probably it's a no not you say? I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. You want to make sure we're not missing something? Does she not want Brad Calhoun? Does she want Tabitha? Or does she not want Tabitha and want Brad yeah. I just think it would be a no vote. Okay. Motion for a no vote. I'll second. Ms. Barger? Yes. Mr. Warren? Yes. Mr. Washington? Yes. Uh, Foreman Township 1, Foreman Local School District. Uh, through the left, four people on the ballot. They both fall four of the cross. I think they both match. Or X. Their circles are consistent. Yeah. So, did they change their mind and then cross that off? Like we had the other ones that 
all the way, all the way across. It I made it say, easier when it was all the way yeah, across. Yeah, all the way across. <laughs> In the past, we, we've said that this was an ugly road. Okay. So, I would I'd make a motion to say it was a good hit on the town. One second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Watson? Yes. All right, two left. I'll give you these one first. Austin Town 6, uh, the renewal for MRDV, Inverse Park. Yeah. I think it's a vote for the tax. I think it's a vote for the tax as well. I'll second. Mr. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Waska? Yes. Okay, so you left a toughie for the end? Yeah. Oh. Strong is 3A. And Joyce and me, we've been together for 23 years. You've been here 30. I've never Three seen this before. <laughs> but the machine kicked this out. It's under uh, issue to the MRDD. But then they, want, they wrote void on the whole ballot. Oh, I never saw that. And they didn't, they didn't request another ballot? Well, it was an absentee. So the thought could have been, since they made a mistake on the last, they had sent it back to us and we'd send a new one, but they don't say never, that. But you can't tie the ballot back to the envelope, so we could, there's no way we know who right. it was. But we're guessing at that. Well, I'd say this is void. I'm surprised that they mailed it back. I believe we should. Honor their wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Okay. Do you vote? <laughs> Mr. Barger? Yes. Mr. Uh, Arndt? Yes. Mr. Washington? Yes. Okay. Is that unfinished business or did that do good? That was good. Any communication? None, Madam Chairman. Okay. We can recess now until what, 7 o'clock tomorrow night? We could, or I'd, I'd like to go in executive session. Reason um, for a, uh, a reason of a county employee okay. hiring discipline. Okay. Do you have a second? I'll second. Mrs. Barker? Yes. Mr. Arn? Yes. Mr. Wasker? Yes. Do you want us to stay, Mr. Wasker? Yes. Okay. Both you and Tom. Okay. Well, they, yeah. they just. Uh, were, have there been any, were there any changes in any of the polling locations for this election? No. Only in the outlying areas we had a couple. Okay. Uh, we actually, nothing, nothing in the city. Okay. The city is exactly the same. And the ID requirements are just the one ID? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and for that uh, policy for filing petitions that you all approved, will, will that be available online? Yes, I will have. We, we actually have a new social uh, media director. He can very good with Facebook and online, so it will be posted. Thank you. Yeah. And you got your personal call. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it basically what? follows the Secretary of State's whole thing on petitions. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we have Come out of executive session. I'll second that motion. Mrs. Barger? Yes. Mr. Barnt? Yes. Mr. Waska? Yes. Um, I'd like to make a motion to hire Jenny Ditzler as a full-time employee at the Board of Elections. I'll second it. Any discussion? I don't know if that's you. <laughs> Call the roll. Mrs. Barger? Yes. Mr. Arndt? Yes. Mr. Waska? Yes. Thank you, board members, very much. I'll tell you what her husband told me at the party in the fall. Oh, God only knows. I would put it at December. I would put it December first. First pay in December. Yeah, first pay. Yeah, first pay in December. I would. I would think. Because we're we're in the middle of election. December first. December first. Things are better. Okay. Um. Um, anything for the good of the order? What time would you like to meet tomorrow night? 
I think 7 o'clock would be good. You think yes, 7 o'clock? 7 you want 6.30. So 6.30, just in case? Uh, <coughs> we should go 6.30 because we, you run the last ones at 7.30, but we never have any problems at 7.30. Right. I, usually they come at 6, don't they? Or do they? Six thirty. Six thirty. No, usually six thirty. Okay. Seven's cutting it close sometimes. Okay. Yeah. We'll do six thirty. But you're welcome for lunch tomorrow. Full balance tomorrow. How long it took tonight? What are we doing? I mean, it took us twenty minutes tonight. We are going into recess until six thirty tomorrow. After the close of the polls, the collection of federal. No, we don't understand. No, we just need a recess. Yeah. So six thirty. Anything else, John? No, it's more adjourned, so I was going to make a comment. One thing nice to have. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to be in recess until tomorrow at 6.30. Thank you.